beautiful looking ass down. Because I will come out there and slap a steak off of your fat ass. It just dawned on me that you and I have not been properly introduced. Well, come here. My name is the outlaw Randy Wayne, and this is my fucking house.
just coming up here for Scott. Thank you so much for... You crazy son of a bitch. Somebody, I'm gonna tell a story here. Scott, get up, come here. God, I'd ask you to get the ring, but never mind. That's, that's, that's engineering ingenuity right there, man. Listen, uh, I'm gonna tell a story. When I was first breaking into this business, I was kind of at an impasse in my life, personally and professionally, as far as wrestling goes. I had been fired by, by Creative at PCW, and I needed somewhere to wrestle, so I, I got a hold of Dyke Davis. Thank you, by the way, for even answering my call. Um, at the behest of Bullman Downs and Kit Carson, who helped train me. Yeah! And I, you know, he didn't know me from Adam's house cat, so he said, you know, come up here and I'll put you in there with one of my guys and, you know, we'll see and, and we'll go from there. So he, I went up and I met and Scott McKenzie, Scott fucking McKenzie, got in the ring with me, had a little trial match with me, five, six minutes. Made a, made, made a guy that, you know, I was green as goose shit, made me look good, and I said, hey, show up on Friday night, I got a spot for you now, so that's why I'm here tonight, Scott, and that's why I think the people who put this show together, they put me in here with this crazy motherfucker. It's not very often that we get to say thank you to each other because we come out here and we got storylines and we got angles and we got whatever. You are a legitimate hero to a lot of dudes in that locker room. Yeah! And he don't name his daughter after you. When the fuck did you become shy? I want to thank you, Scott Chan, right fucking now. Thank you, Scott! 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 Everybody that came out here tonight, thank you for being here for our brother. I want to say thank you to Knight Davis because Knight Davis was a groundbreaking son of a bitch in Denton, Texas. So I thank you, Knight Davis, for XCW. Drunk Adam, come here. Thank you for making an old man look good. See that guy out there? He just got engaged. <laughs> hey, hey, it's all scripted. Casey and Matt, stand up. Come on, come on, stand up. Matt.
finally ask her to marry him. Adam, thank you. Don't, I'm gonna, I told my, hold on, I give you the mics. Well, if you come in here, you and I are gonna have a last minute standing match. <laughs> I'm a bit of a dick. <laughs> yeah, you're still a news guy. Scott, I remember giving all the, the rookies a copy of a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. Back in the day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Give this man a beer! I gave you, Jack, mercy. Guy, I don't remember the fourth one. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna pass out. Is it Nikki? Who did I make it? Oh, I could have been said. Either way, back in like 2003, I gave all of you this book, and that's what helped me the most. And that's why I was able to make it, you know. Ten years in this business, doing the dumb shit that I did. Whatever. Whatever. But I remember, I remember your first match in ICW. Spot for Kenzie! Yeah, he was first. Spot for Kenzie! Spot for Kenzie! Poor damn kid. <laughs> I think he was 19 years old. And we had this match with White Fox and Red Boys. And we never knew. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew. God damn it. <laughs> but anyway, I really wanted somebody to bust me up in that match. And so uh, Fox gave me a face buster and I as hard as I could and it just didn't break my nose. So Barnes came up and I was like, give me something in the face. And he busted me on the, you know, right on the nose and it broke it. And I remember looking for that tag in your first match ever in XCW. <laughs> and you were just the look on your face. Like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> but you took it anyway, and you've taken it ever since. And okay, so after that match, it was the most magical moment I've ever had with Scotland Hansi. <laughs> I think he was 19 years old at the time, and they threw us beers. I think we, we probably, yeah, who cares? We lost, won the match, who cares? And, uh, and they threw me beers, and I gave one to Scott, and I think he was 19 years old at the time. <laughs> he looked at the crowd, he looked at his mother. <laughs> <laughs> and she looked at him and said, No. <laughs> and Scott said, She's It was amazing. It was amazing. I love you, kid. Brother, it's, it's. Nobody will ever take me out of eight years sitting on my ass. Enjoying life, except you. Yeah! Well, I wasn't, wasn't expecting to follow up a story like that, so uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know my stuff's very cool. But uh, I was I was lucky enough. Uh, besides Apoc in the back, I think that you 
almost had a small family reunion since Ricky Jackson showed up and uh, Drunk Addo and Dalton. You know, we had to put him in a glass and actually, actually make him a man. So uh, I'd have done the same thing to Randy, but I don't think it's worked. So Charlie legal match sometime. We can do that if you want to, Randy. Instead of last man standing, I got a couple of limp legs. So anyway, no, look, I, I was lucky enough. To have a crew of people that I trained over the years, and Scott being, you know, very, very much part of that. There were a lot of you guys. He's probably the last one still working, I think, uh, and probably should be the last one still working. Zach Drastic, another great talent. I, I got. I was lucky enough to get Danny through uh, half of his training, but Scott has always been something special. You guys are here to support something special coming back to the uh, It's not just going to be my kid, but it's very much my brother, my family. His mom's over there. I love her to death. I had to explain a lot of stuff to her when he was working. <laughs> Look, we're, we did a show that was not conventional, and, and although we never cussed, we were very violent. <laughs> And, uh, you know, that's that's just how we made our money. You know, uh, everybody else likes to do the family show like you guys have here. It's a beautiful show. But we, unfortunately, if you wanted to be an insane family, totally come join us. We were a little crazy. But Spud started out. He's always Spud to me, too. So uh, Spud started out because we gave him that. Mainly because when you first break in, we always give you something stupid to work with. If you can make that work, you can make anything work. And Spud's made it work. It was Spuds forever until finally we had to like give him something real. And he, I mean, in case you guys don't know who Spuds McKenzie is, some of you may not be old Tim enough. Tim to quit. Tim to quit. Tim to quit. All right, take easy hammer time. So, and Spuds was a dog with a big black spot. It was a bull terrier, and he was a Bud Light dog. So, uh, you know, Scott McKenzie, he automatically became Spuds McKenzie. So he made that work, and he was... It was a joy to watch and a joy to teach. I also got to learn from him many times over. So I'm glad he got influenced by many people, with the exception of Manny Fernandez, who got to play this on a fucking way. Fuck that guy. So it's a piece of shit. So outside of that, I'm glad he got to learn from everybody else that we got to put in there. It's an influence for all of you guys. Please. If, if you even leave here, put some money in this and it's fun. It's worth your time and effort. So, I, I got a question. Who wants that chair? As it is. Oh! Highest bidder. $2. So you do 25 and it's yours. 25. I got 25. Do I have 26? 30? Anybody got 30? 30? 40? I got $40. Anybody got 45? 45, 45, 45. Anybody got 45? He said 45. No, no. 45. 45. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. Sold to the camera guy for one hundred dollars. You are the Scott, I know that I've not been doing this nearly as long as you, and you and I share the same last name, and uh, I have no doubts that you and I are family. And being in DTF together here at MPX has made us family, no doubt. And I love you more than anything, brother. You are my family. Shoot. I, I just want to wrap this up by saying thank you to everybody. Thank you, Andy. Oh, Scott's going to wrap up. Excuse me. I just want to let you know that I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just asked by Pops of XCW to announce that he will be matching the bid for $100 on the Barbwear Barbwear Rap Chair for Scott McKenzie. This is how much love XCW has for Scott McKenzie. 
First of all, I just wanted to say something real quick. I love Scott McKinney. That's all I have to say. She's been hurt. It's just she's dangerous. Okay. Um, seriously, 100% straight from Scott McKenzie. Not DTF Scott McKenzie. Not anything except father, brother, son Scott McKenzie and uncle. I can't tell you how much tonight meant to me. When I first broke in, didn't expect anything from wrestling except to be in this area as much as I possibly could. And it had nothing to do with, oh, I expect people to come out. I, all I expected was me to come in this ring and do my job. And my job was to entertain y'all. And it if I didn't entertain y'all on a consistent basis, I shouldn't be in here. So once I get better, I will be back in this ring 100%. And I guarantee we'll be getting 100% of down to five, Scott McKenzie. Because anything else, well, it just doesn't make any game. Thank you. 